Hey, what's up guys? It's here Daniel with DH Power Washing. I am a pressure washer and I'm right now I'm setting up my trailer. I'm getting my trailer set up. I literally just bought this trailer uh, three days ago in Southern California. I'm here in the San Diego area. I just got this water tank. I got my pressure washer. I've had this for about two, three months already. I, um, I'm just getting uh, more and more, uh, investing more and more into my business. Got my my gas tank. I just bought this water uh, water transfer pump so I can connect it to my water tank so I can feed over to my to my pressure washer. I'm here inside my storage unit right now. Sitting on the on the other side, so I hope that this doesn't fall. There's more weight on this side. <laughs> But uh, I just want to show you guys like what I'm doing. I wasn't gonna really record anything, but uh, I think it's interesting that um, you know, as a entrepreneur or a solopreneur, we do all these things by ourselves. I'm getting, I'm calling up my uncles, calling up my family, my grandpa, saying, "Hey, you know, how do I do this? What do I need? What's the name of it? Uh, so I can go find it at Home Depot, find it at Harbor Freight, and uh, a lot of those stuff." I've been calling up a lot of places and you know getting quotes finding out the prices is it in my budget how how fast can i pay it off and this this is about 500 bucks at the store at um i believe harbor freight 500 bucks i got it for 50 bucks so there was it was used for oil for oil um, uh transfers so they were transferring oil with this and there was some oil residue inside the the tank. Let's see if I can open it up. But here I have an account with one of the semi guys. I clean semis. I I went door knocking. I got an account with a with a very nice guy that he takes care of like a whole semi dealership. So he gave me the the accounts to me. But he's been asking like, hey Daniel, there's. The reason I got this trailer, I'm getting the trailer set up, is because the guy's like, Daniel, I don't want to be moving the semis anymore. Um, can you bring your own water? Can you bring your own setup? Can you bring your own trailer? And I said, yeah, of course. So I started looking. And interesting enough, I'm like, hey, bro, I got this. You know, can I use your wash bay to clean out, my, you know, get my trailer set up? And he said, yeah, there's no problem. So God bless that guy. So in his wash bay because i have nowhere else to wash right i cleaned the whole inside the whole inside i used dawn soap dawn soap i used my pressure washer i grabbed it i pulled it in and started cleaning everything even the top right here i grab i stick my hand in there got a, a towel with dawn soap and i started cleaning the whole top part i lifted it over rinsed it out you know it was a big it took a while it took a while to clean this but i got it for 50 bucks on craigslist very 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 cheap it's for 500 bucks about in the stores um harbor freights i believe like 450 plus tax 500 um but i got everything i got this for 50 bucks so that just saves me about 400 bucks so i can play around with that and i, I went ahead and bought this water transfer pump very good very you know durable good it's pretty heavy so i can grab the water from this tank to push it onto my pressure washer so the guy wants me to do um the reason i got this this trailer is because the guy the semi guy wants me to wash containers but they're not close anywhere close to the the building it's a really big dealership they're not close to the building they're about two blocks out and I told the guy, hey, I have about 300, 400 feet of hose. You know, I have a lot of hose. Um, you know what I mean? And I said, I, I tried it out once, but two of my hoses broke because samurais were passing by. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just, I need this eventually. Let me get my trailer set up. It's a little five by eight uh, trailer. This thing holds about 2,200 gallons legally but it holds its maximum weight capacity is about 4,000 sorry 3,400 gallons i think that's what the the guy told me and uh illegally but you know 
I don't think we're gonna be filling this whole thing up. And this is a thousand liters, thousand times 2.2 2.2 pounds. Well, water weighs per liter. It's about 3,400 gallons. I don't think I'm ever gonna use the whole tank, but definitely halfway. So that's about 1,500 gallons, uh, 1,500 pounds, sorry. So right now I'm doing this whole setup so I can get this transfer pump. Let me sit down again. To get the transfer pump, um, something that connects here and transfers it into a small one. Oh, let me see if I got this. I know guys, this is this is weird video, but so I got this going on. It's one of the I don't know the sizes, man. I, I don't even know. I don't know. I just want a Home Depot. I, mean, I literally uh, measured it with my finger. I'm like, hey, bro, I need I need something like this for this size. That guy is a badass. That guy is a badass. He, he knew exactly what I needed. I don't even know how. Okay. Anyways, I got this going on, and then this is a uh, it trans. I already put glue on it, so it transfers into one of these. So it goes in like that, and then this one goes in with this one with this. So it's one unified. Ugh. It's one unified. So it'd be like that. And then right here, I have another one. Where is it? I lost it. But there's another one of these that just goes right here. And then I can literally stick stick it onto it. And boom, I have my setup. That's literally the only thing the only thing I have right now. Um, I've had this for a while. This took me about a week to set up. The reason it took me a week is because I've been quoting, 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 and they don't just sell them out here anywhere. You have to go like drive 30, 40 minutes out um, to look at them. And then if they're not the right one, they're not the right size, they're not the right payload capacity, then you have to keep looking, keep looking somewhere else. But thank God I, I finally got this. Also, I had to look for a storage unit. And this storage unit was the last one for the, a really good price. Everything's really pricey here in San Diego, but got for a good price. Um, the only thing I need is to power this. So I need a generator and that's about it. I bought one, I bought one, I turned it out. It's not enough volts, it's not enough power. It, it, it shuts down, it turns off. So what I'm gonna be doing is, um, what I'm actually gonna be doing is getting another one, getting another generator. I'm gonna return this one. It was about $250, $300. Uh, I'm gonna get one for like four, four, five, maybe 600, but I needed to power it up so I can deliver the the right amount of of power to this tr water, water transfer pump. So this is my setup, guys. It's not much, but it's a start. It's a five by eight trailer. I'm still gonna I'm still working on how I'm gonna put this here I'm gonna grab this and put it in the in the front of course this water tank I want it in the middle so it's like max payload capacity so it doesn't break anything I made sure that the one I had this um trailer was a, a v1 it was other trailers utility trailers that were really light duty Oh, the guy was nice enough to give me this too when I bought this trailer. So, God bless him too. But I still have to get all my equipment from my other storage unit, which was a 5x5, and bring everything in here. Which this is a 5x, no, this is a 10x15. So, I was about to get a trailer that was a 10x10, 5x10. But uh, I was like, no, it's not going to fit. You know, this one barely fits. <laughs> but yeah, guys, don't mean to bore you guys. This is my little trailer setup I'm working on. Um, if you guys have any questions, you know, getting started, uh, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. I, of course, need a lot of help, and I'm not afraid to ask. Uh, and when I do ask, I try to get the best information. Uh, from people that already know or that already set up something like this before so if you guys have a question if i don't know the answer i mean I, i'm pretty sure somebody else somebody in the comments will know
This is my nice little truck. Lovely San Diego day.